Hi, my name is Nikki, and we did a Ritz Cracker Machine project, and I was responsible for the electrical and the pneumatics of the entire system, as well as some of the research and formulas that we had done. We had researched all the air cylinders, their pressures, and the valves that we were going to use, as well as all the way down to the screws and track. That we used. The valves consist of a two position three five way and then a single solenoid two position five way. We have our air pressure set at just over fifty PSI to run the cylinders. And we had to record everything that we bought and stay within a budget, as well as do the research on the fittings, sizing, and selecting of all components within. All right, my name's Jack. I did the mechanical assembly and design for the Ritz project. This is the overall kind of 3D of everything, including parts, uh, lights, selector switches, push buttons, cylinders, all the functioning parts and parts that need to be fabricated. These are some of the 2Ds for the push button mounts and light mounts that had to be fabricated. There's the 3D. Then the actual tray itself for the Ritz cracker was, de I designed that with recesses for the bolts so it would be flat. And here's the 3D of that. Then over to the actual machine, it's mostly constructed of 80-20 extrusion and put together with well, bolts and Allen wrenches. Got our overall length is thirty is thirty six inches, so three feet by two feet by two feet again. And all these plates, this, and our mounting brackets for both the cylinders and the selector switches all had to be fabricated and yeah drilled through and etc. So that's about it for mechanical. Hi, my name is Greg Dickey and I did the programming for our project. <clears throat> I used RS500 for our program with a Micrologix 1000 Analog PLC. Um, considering how we put our project together, we did not use any sensors, so I had to use a lot of timers for each cylinder. I also used counters, um, and then I just created a auto and a manual mode. I have manual instruction. So it wasn't it didn't take too long to program. It was just a lot of it had a, there was a lot of precision that had to be done. Um, also I had to program our rod the cylinder could not stop so I had to program everything to go along with the cylinder. So that's about it.